Hey loves, Jay here with your mid-February reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Even if you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are also welcome to this reading as well. Keep in mind this is general. It's not going to resonate with everyone out there. Take the parts that do resonate, interchange it however you want. Make it fit how it fits for you, but don't force anything. Scorpio, I'm feeling that spirit is saying, um, get ready. Something is about to take off. So I don't know if you're working on something or you are in a relationship. Something is about to take off. And I feel like it's going to be a good energy. It's going to create a beautiful momentum for you. Another message is I'm hearing sneaky link. I'm feeling a sneaky energy. And I don't know if that's you being sneaky or someone around you is being sneaky here, uh, Scorpio. But we'll see if something comes up during your reading. But there's a little sneaky link situation that could be going on. Remember, this is not going to resonate with everyone. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and hop into your reading and clarify each of these cards with your tarot. Your current energy right now, Scorpio, is the Six of Water, which is your energy. Okay. Your advice for this month, for the remainder of the month, is the Knight of Fire. Yeah, see, that passion right there is coming through. And your final outcome for the month is the six of earth, okay? All right, so let's see what's coming up for you here. Your energy. I'm feeling like some of you guys have been sinking. You've been drowning. This could also mean some of you have been falling in love with someone, falling in love with an idea of someone, falling in love with ideas or a new business project, venture that you're starting. But I definitely feel there's a happiness around it. But I do feel like your energy has been engulfed in something here. And I, I don't feel anything bad from this. I just feel when I say drowning, it's like, um, it's almost like drunk in love. <laughs> you know, drunk in love for some of you that's coming up. But this could also be someone that you're connected to from the past. This could be memories coming up from the past where you may be just reminiscing about things from the past that made you happy as a child or with a person. Some of you may be even, even seeing a, a friend, a blast from the past or something where you're, again, reminiscing about things that transpired and just the funny times between the two of you. But I definitely feel like you're, I feel like you left behind you're leaving behind some of the emotions that um, didn't serve you and you're moving into more of a happy energy is what I feel. So it definitely feels like you either have left relationships here or you've left behind emotions and you're moving out of that energy. As I'm looking at the cups here and you can see um, there are six cups, all the six cups are here, right? But you're moving away from that. You're moving up and now you're able to catch your breath. So I feel like you're moving to higher ground because some of you probably were drowning in the emotions or drowning in energies from other people and you just needed to let that go. Okay, so let's see what's coming up for you here in the tarot. All right, so why is the six of water here for Scorpio? We have the Four of Wands. So this is possibly a relationship that you uh, are, we're talking about here, that some of you are pouring into that. Some of you could be dating someone from the past, someone from a past life, or someone who just feels very familiar. It feels nostalgic for you. Um, and so you're in, you're really diving into that and falling. Someone You're falling for someone. But now I'm looking at this Six of Water, and I'm, as I look closely, I can see a shark here. You see that? Uh oh, I'm trying to not get the ring light in there. But anyway, you could see a shark that's here. This may be a sneaky link, okay? That may be a sneaky link that's trying to come in. We know sharks are really, really sneaky at times. They come in and they come out of nowhere. So there could be, you know, someone else trying to come and break something up. Someone's interfering in some sort of way. But overall, I do feel like that is on the back. The, I feel like that's on the back burner or that's behind the scenes. I do feel like overall here, Scorpio, there is someone that you're connecting with. Some of you could be getting engaged. You can be getting married. You can be starting a family. You could be building a home together. But I definitely feel like this is an energy of you. You are 
building something with someone with this four of wands let me see what else is coming up this is definitely you celebrating something so some of you could be celebrating um celebrating meeting at a wedding meeting at a party or just celebrating your re um your reconnection with one another you're reuniting in some sort of way you're definitely growing something with someone here currently the prince of pentacles so you, I definitely feel like there is a mutual attraction. There is a mutual connection here. You're building a, a, a strong bond here. It's a it's there's reciprocity within this relationship. Like, but I definitely feel like it's someone from the past. There's there's something here with some about someone from the past um, that's coming up. So that's the current energy. I don't have to go too far into that. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but I definitely feel a connection of something from the past even. Um, like I said, emotions that could be coming up. But I do feel like it's a person that is coming in, offering you something. And maybe this could be another person as well, which I said, sneaky link. <laughs> Let me pull one more card on that, actually. The devil. See, this is some bullshit. See, excuse my language. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I do feel like there may be some sort of interference that could be coming up. Or some of you are already experiencing that. This could be your energy dating multiple people here, Scorpio. We know, Scorpio, you you can be sneaky and a little mysterious. So this could be that, that connection here of two different people. Or this connection that you have with this one person is sort of based off of you two being addicted to one another. I do feel like you have a good time with one another with the devil energy here. It's a, it's a fun time. Okay, so I don't know how this is going to show up if this is going to be long term for some of you like i said this could be two different relationships and this could be one person that you have a good time with but i still feel like you're building something which makes me feel like are you really going to build with this person that you just have fun with and maybe occasional sex you go out once in a while are you building with this person or is there someone that you have that is very steady and then there's someone on the side that you just have a good time with. Okay, so current energy there. That's a whole other reading going into that. We're not doing that today. Okay, <laughs> so your advice for the month is the night of fire that is coming up for you. Let's see what's coming up. Yeah, so this is this feels like either your energy. I'm feeling somebody being pushy. That's what I'm feeling. Someone is being pushy, but there is a lot of passion and adventure here with you and someone or you and multiple people. I don't know how that's showing up for you here, Scorpio. I'm also, I was going to say Pisces. So I don't know if some of you are dealing with a Pisces and like another fellow water sign, or this could be fire. Whatever this is, be fire or earth. I do feel like there's a lot of passion and connection and it's really intense, which is why that devil energy is here is connected in some sort of way and that connection doesn't mean that it's always healthy but it definitely feels like you're tied to something or someone and this is why maybe is there someone coming back from the past that you're rekindling a flame or something and you're in this position of just enjoying each other's company okay so this is this night of fire is also saying that there's going to be a sudden event that needs immediate attention so this is your advice. So whatever this is, could it be somebody's getting caught up or could it be red flags are coming up or could it be that someone said they changed and they're still doing the same thing that broke you up in the first place? Okay, so time is of the essence of whatever this situation that is that may be coming up or this event that you need to pay attention to and you're going to need to think things through carefully. Okay, so let's pull some cars around that here Scorpio what's going on with you why is the night of fire here seven of pentacles okay so <clears throat> I feel like you're gonna take do you might need to take a little time out for a second here to really think about what you're doing, what you're getting yourself involved in. That's what I'm feeling from this. 
because I do feel like there are other options and there are other relationships that you can be growing outside of one that you may be focused on, but it looks like you may need to focus on something with this person. So what I'm hearing is to not let your attention be distracted in all of the other places. Make sure that you're focused on <laughs> whatever this one thing or one person is in front of you. Because I do feel like you're going to have to wean out some people. Or you're going to have to wean out something. Because whatever this is, whoever this is, you definitely like them. But I just, I see a lot of other things that are happening around you. And could it be that this person could be distracting you from the other things that you need to do? Like you getting caught up. I'm so caught up. Okay, so I'm feeling that, that you may be getting caught up too much where you're letting other, you're neglecting other things that are really important to you. Okay, Six of Pentacles. We also have the Six of Pentacles that's coming out next in your final outcome, the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Water. So we have three sixes, six, six, six here. Okay. Hmm. So uh, I'm hearing that whoever this person is, Scorpio, that you really like and you know that it's good for you, it feels right in your intuition. It's not just the let's have a good time person. We're addicted to each other. We're sexually connected and have a sexual chemistry and we hook up here and there. This could also be the same person where you feel all of this with this one person. Again, this is going back and forth because I feel like there could be other people involved, but then I'm trying to bring it back to this one person that you're really liking. Spirit is saying to pour into that. So you need to, part of this of needing to stop, take a break and think about what you're doing is think about how your actions may impact someone else's emotions. So if you are dating other people, but you're pouring into this relationship and this person thinks that it's all about the two of you, first off, you should be communicating if there are other people, if you're just dating. Um, secondly, you need to be open, honest, and transparent and let this person know what they're getting into and let give them the option to make a choice about what is going to work for them or not. So it feels like if you are needing clarity, validation confirmation on if you should pour into this one person or keep doing what you're doing this feels like pouring into this person taking all of your time and energy into pouring into the person that you really really like nine of wands energy is here because it definitely feels like there can be a battle with having all of these other energies in your space sort of disrupting your energy becoming a, a distraction from pouring into what you really want to pour into. That's what I'm feeling here. Whew. There may be a test that could be coming up for you. A test of your faith, test of your love. This is why a sudden event is going to need an immediate, immediate attention. So there may be an obstacle or something that's going to, like I said, need your attention that may test you in some sort of way to see if you're ready for this next step. So question is, are you ready? So that's your advice that that's going to, you know, come up for you. You're going to have to take a little break and figure out how you want to, how you want to move. You know, are you sticking and moving or are you moving, moving? What's going on here, Scorpio? Okay. Your final outcome is the six of earth. That's again, double confirmation. You pouring into something just as much as it's pouring into you, it or a person. Okay. So this could be gifts of love, money, time, effort. Someone is showing you something or you're showing someone that, hey, I'm really feeling you. Can we make this work? So I do feel like there can be a new start for the two of you. Once you decide I'm going to pour into this one person because they make me feel a certain way. And for some of you, this is that person that is from the past or past life, but there is some sort of tie or bond, a familiarity familiarity there between the two of you so I feel like you may decide to pour into that so I feel like as you gift out there's going to be things that, that are going to come to you so reciprocity is going to be huge in this so you're going to have to 
whatever you want to receive, Scorpio, you're going to have to give that out in order to get it back. Okay, what you give, you get to keep. So if you're giving out love and time and effort and compassion and, you know, good conversation and nice dates, whatever, you're going to get that back. But if you're not, you can't expect that in return if you're not giving that energy. You're not matching the energy and you're a water sign. So you, you prefer, like you can match someone's energy. Like Pisces are the kings and the queens of energy matching. But because you're a water sign and you're very empathic, you need to, you need your energy match. So whatever you, it is that you're giving out, you want that back. Okay, so let's see what's, why this six of earth is here for you. Eight of pentacles. And we have the Eight of Cups, so wow, two number eight. So we're making progress, okay? You're definitely going to be making progress once you decide that you want to invest the time and energy into this person, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Um, there are going to be some things you're going to have to leave behind, and you're going to have to pour into this one thing here, pour in that passion, that drive, that love, whatever this is. And again, you know, Whoever the sneaky links are, you're going to have to let those go. <laughs> you're going to have to walk away from that. So it's a big decision for some of you out there, Scorpio, of leaving behind, having your cake and eat it too, to narrowing it down to one person that may check some of the boxes, but obviously one person can't fulfill every single desire or everything that you are looking for. So we do compromise at some point. So you're going to have to decide Am I going to compromise or do I want to fulfill all of my desires? Okay. And filling all of your desires means dating multiple people. So you're going to have to decide. But I do feel like you're going to pour into a one relationship, pour into the person that you are currently dating, or there could be someone else that comes in. But I definitely feel like it's someone that you have a strong connection to. So I do, I feel like you're going to decide to pour into that as your final outcome. Uh, let's see, one more card, the death energy. So I definitely feel like you're going to be letting go of things that are, this is your energy, death. This is your energy. You're going to be walking away from things that you're just kind of like, yeah, no, nah, um, I know what's right for me. I know what I need. I know what I want. And so I'm going to go after that. So for some of you, I'm hearing you might even surprise yourself. <laughs> You may even surprise yourself and take a different turn, and that turn may be letting go of all the sneaky, sneaky links and making a change in your life for a new beginning So, because this is a fresh start for some of you. And remember I said already you're going to be um, moving into new, new love, new opportunities, and this is an opportunity with this death card here to let go of your old self. And your old self probably like to have a lot of fun with many different people here. And by no means... Am I calling y'all sluts and hoes? Okay. <laughs> All I'm saying is you living your best life. And some of you are going to decide like, I got to turn, I got to, I got to hang up my cape. I got to hang up my cape and I need to focus on one person. And that's what I really want anyway. So some of you had to kiss a lot of frogs in order to get to this place with this person and pouring into that. So it sounds exciting. It sounds fun that it's this new love on the horizon and really like amplifying the passion that you feel with one person, okay, and really taking that to the next level, okay, so I love this, all right, so that is your reading here, Scorpio, thank you so much for tuning in, I will see you guys for March, enjoy the rest of February, take care, many blessings, love and light, peace.